to it and we are very grateful uh, the extent of damage or damages will make that financial assistance pale, which means that we have to raise external resources to supplement our domestic um, resources in order to have a serious push to people. My name is Rhoda. I grew up in Barbuda. I witnessed Hurricane Lewis and compared to that, this has been something that I've never imagined experiencing. It was horrible, it was devastating, it was sad, and it was tragic. And to see and hear everything that happened, being in the middle of it, being here, it's the most horrible thing that can happen here or anywhere else in the world. So, I mean, I just hope that everything can come together quickly, that people can move on and continue to build. So where are the residents in Auckland? They're shacking up with each other, uh, many of them are in um, some common areas, and that in itself represents a serious health hazard. In fact, I would go as far as stating that at least uh, probably 60% of the population in Barbie is actually homeless. My name is King Goldilocks. Last night was the most devastating experience I have had in my life, and I, I, I am almost 60. I witnessed Hurricane Lewis, but it was never like this. This one is the worst and the most devastated, done more damage to Barbie than any other storm that we in our lifetime have experienced. This storm came and did some damage to Barbuda. Really, almost 90% of the houses in Barbuda who don't lose the roof, the, 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 the house crumbles, some people totally lost. Like me, I am, I am, I am homeless. And even um, the areas in which they're sheltering, they're damaged homes, so that we're hoping that at least, you know, they would not suffer from any of the elements between now and tomorrow, because if there's any significant amount of rains between uh, today and tomorrow, uh, clearly it will create some additional damages. And we now have a better understanding as to what is happening. And I just want to assure the Barbudan people that the government and people of Antigua and Barbuda, we are standing with you. I've asked them to stand in solidarity with each other. I've asked them to be positive notwithstanding this disaster because we always have the view notwithstanding the challenges, there will be opportunities to be exploited. And all we're asking is for them to be patient and to support each other, uh, to be vigilant at the same time and to cooperate with the government and the various agencies as we seek to bring some relief to the Barbudan people. I'm Henrietta Hopkins and I had a terrible experience last night. I don't wish this on nobody life and I don't want to see a next hurricane like this. Because when I was in the house, the house was boarded up and something still come and bust the window, bust the bed in two and we had to close the door and the first half the bedroom door too. So we had to leave at that place and go to our next house. Well, Miriam Harris. Well, I think this is the worst hurricane ever meet up with all my life. I go from 60, 50, come down. And I tell you, last night was the worst time in all my life. And I would not want to see another hurricane like this again. It has been surreal devastation on the sister isle. This has been the result of Hurricane Irma's fury, a powerful Atlantic storm, one of the most powerful on record, 185 mile per hour winds crashing into the sister isle. That has been the result. Where to begin, where to start? This is just one word, epic. What we experience is like something you see in a horror movie. It's something that you, you, you watch on TV, but not something you expect to actually happen in reality. I mean, persons were literally running from house to house, and we had cars flying over our heads. We had containers, 40-foot containers, flying left and right. And the, stories that, the story that you're getting from most of the residents here is that the eye of the storm came just in time. Persons were literally tying themselves to them, their roofs with um, ropes to keep them down, holding on. So Prime Minister, let's uh, unpack what happened, the, the immensity of the destruction in Barbuda. So uh, what happened to the residents while all of this happened? Where were they when all this destruction happened? Well, they were in their homes and uh, they took the necessary precautions. In fact, I was speaking to the chair lady of the Barbuda Council up until about 1.30 a.m. this morning. 
and up to that point she had indicated that all was well. Uh, a little late in the morning I was told that uh, residents had actually communicated that a few roofs were lost. But when you are on the ground and certainly in the dark of night, it would have been difficult for them to give an accurate assessment to the extent of the damage. So we are of the view here that perhaps the damage would have been limited, not recognizing, having done the aerial view, that the entire housing stock was damaged. We had asked the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela to assist us in providing um, two cargo planes, two military um, planes to move some building material probably out of Panama. So we will now pursue those options and to make sure that we can move building material into Barbuda as quickly as possible to start the rebuilding process. Uh, we never really anticipated this level of damage. Uh, I have to admit the standby overdraft facilities that we had from the domestic banks will make what is required here in terms of the amount of funds absolutely pale. I mean, uh, the amount that they have offered. And we have to raise a significant amount of resources now to rebuild Barbuda and to restore it to normalcy. The good thing about it is that we had already made some contingency plans. I have to admit that um, at one point we thought that they may not have been necessary. We did not cancel them. We have actually delayed some of them because we weren't too sure of the extent of the damage in Barbuda. It means now that we will activate those mechanisms. So tomorrow uh, we have about two... Uh, cargo planes full of um, supplies that will be landing here in Antigua.